What's happening guys? So I realize that there's quite a few people who comment on my videos where college doesn't interest them or the only degrees that do interest them are the ones that will probably lead to them not being able to get a job. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're gonna be totally fine. There's a lot of options out there that are really amazing that aren't gonna take that much time. Some don't take any time at all. They don't require any schooling. Some require like two years of schooling. Maybe you have to get some kind of certification. And then the most important thing is to never forget to smash the living daylights out of the like button. Smash. Because it does really help with the algorithm a lot, so thank you very much for doing that. And I already knew quite a bit about this before making the video, but after doing a ton of research, I found some really good ones, and I was just amazed, so you're really in for a treat. Now, studies have shown that your happiness doesn't really increase much above about $75,000 a year, somewhere around there. And so all of these careers are ones where the average is $75,000 or more. And after showing you the list, I'm also going to reveal the best resources that I know of because because a lot of these jobs are actually quite niche, they're difficult to find, and you need certain resources in order to even find them in the first place. So with that being said, let's jump right in and start off the list with number 10, which is going to be a nuclear technician. So nuclear technicians basically just assist nuclear engineers as well as physicists and anything related to nuclear energy. Now I know a lot of people are afraid of nuclear energy. And no nukes, no and several other jobs on this list are going to be related to that, to be honest with you, but you really shouldn't be afraid of it at all. Evidence over the last six decades of using nuclear energy shows that there's almost no risk whatsoever in something like Chernobyl happening again. I never forget this. Now this is a great career path because it only really requires two years of schooling and you can make over $79,000 a year median. Now right now there's only about 7,600 jobs available out there and it's only expected to grow at negative 4% job outlook in the next 10 years, which is bad. That's like absolutely horrible because the average is four to 7%. But I really do see this one making a comeback because I see more and more countries adopting nuclear energy because it's it's just incredibly efficient. So for those reasons, I left it at number 10, but it's still a really solid choice overall. Number nine is gonna be dental hygienist. Now I'm not gonna include the traditional trades jobs like plumber, HVAC, anything like that, just because I made another list for those, but this one isn't really a traditional job because it doesn't really require that much muscle or you know physical capability. And because of that, it's also not very tough on your body like some of the trades jobs can be. Now, as a dental hygienist, you're going to be assisting dentists in doing things that they can do, but there's things that they probably shouldn't be doing. Things that are pretty easy, like dental cleanings or preventative care. Now, dental hygienists get paid about $75,000 a year right now, which is really solid, and they're expected to grow at about 11% in the next decade, which is much higher than the average 4 to 7%. There's also currently 219,000 jobs out there, which is quite a bit, and it's growing really fast, which means there's going to be even even more in the future. This means that it doesn't really matter where you live. You can live in your dream city if you want to. You can live in your hometown if you want to live with your family or something like that. You're pretty much always going to be able to find a job. You don't have to move out to an oil rig in the middle of the ocean just to make a living. Now it does require two years of schooling, which is why it isn't higher on the list, but this is still a very solid option. Number eight on the list is going to be air traffic controllers. And they're basically the guys up in those towers at the airports that direct all the flights. Now this is one of of those jobs that's extremely stressful. It's very high skill. You have to have the clutch gene basically because you're going to be directing airplanes and if you mess up, the airplanes could literally run into each other, so it's an extremely important job. And it pays extremely well on average, about $124,000 a year. So you might be wondering why this isn't ranked higher on the list. Well, it's only expected to grow about 1% in the next decade. There's only about 24,300 job openings right now. And on top of that, it does require two years of schooling. But overall, it's still a very solid option. Any of the ones that make it onto this top 10 list, are still pretty good when you compare them to all of the other jobs in the world. Number seven is going to be a nuclear medicine technologist. Oh no, another one that has the word nuclear in it. <gasps> I think you scared me straight. It's okay, this one is perfectly safe as well. Now this is another one that requires two years of schooling, but it pays a really nice 76,800 or so 
uh, a year median salary. There's about 19,300 spots open and the expected growth rate is a very solid 7%. Now you might be wondering, Shane, what the hell does a nuclear technologist do? I'm gonna try to explain this to you. Well, they generally help to prepare and administer radioactive drugs that help doctors make extremely accurate images of the inside of a body. And this is a really good one if you're interested in medicine, but you don't necessarily wanna get a four or six year degree. Number six is another radiation related career and it's going to be radiation therapist. This is another one that's going to require two years in order to get the degree for it. As a radiation therapist, you help with the fight against cancer by helping to administer radiation treatment. Now this is a tough one to get into because you're going to be around terminally ill, sick patients all day long and that can be really difficult on you emotionally so it does take a certain type of person to do this job. But overall you are really helping people people out. You're doing a huge service to society and not that many people can do a job like this. So if you can do it, um, you will be able to help a lot of people out. Now it does pay about $82,000 a year, which is extremely solid for a two year degree. That's one of the best ones on the list. There's 18,700 positions open right now. And then on top of that, it has a 9% growth rate in the next 10 years, which is very, very solid. Number five on the list is going to be power plant operators, distributors, and dispatchers. Now this is the first one on the list where you don't have to do any schooling whatsoever. All you need is a high school diploma or a GED. Now, basically what they do is they control the systems that generate as well as distribute electric power. Now, this one pays extremely well for one that you can get into right out of high school, over 83,000 median per year. Now, the number of job openings right now is about 53,000, which is pretty solid overall, but it has one really bad downside, and that is there is a negative 6% expected growth rate in the next 10 years. That's probably one of the worst ones on the list. But this is kind of a trend with jobs that don't require a lot of education, like the ones that you can get into without going to any school whatsoever you see this negative growth rate on a lot of them and they become saturated very quickly just because the barrier to entry is so low. So you might have to know somebody to get into this one. Uh, you also will have to do a really good job in order to keep your job. And so for that reason, that's why I didn't put it higher on the list, but it's still a really solid option for the right person. Number four on this list is going to be web developers. Now this is one of my favorite on the entire list and what they do in a nutshell is they design and create websites. Now, technically, the median on this one is about $69,000, $70,000 a year, but give me one moment before you get mad at me. I know I said that all of them were above $75,000, but here's the thing about this one. There's so many different specialties that you can get into when it comes to web development. You can do it on a very basic level where you're not gonna be making nearly as much, but there are many jobs available out there that are making way more than $75,000 a year. And on top of that, there's tons of bonuses and incentives and stock options for a lot of the companies out there that offer jobs for web developers. And so even if you are only making $69,000 a year base, chances are you're gonna get up over $75,000 a year overall. Now there's a ton of jobs available out there, over 160,000 right now. And on top of that, it's gonna grow 13% in the next 10 years. So this is a very solid option. You don't have to go to any schooling whatsoever to get into web development. You can study it on your own. I actually learned how to do web development when I was a teenager and made some money on the side doing that. You don't have to be a genius to do web development. If I could do it as a teenager, you can definitely do it yourself. You're Albert Einstein. A lot of people that get into it are completely self-taught. They don't even need to take a course online or anything like that. But if you want to speed yourself up, you can take a cheap course on Skillshare or something like that, which they are not the sponsor of this video. So you don't have to worry about me rambling on for five minutes. Everything is moving towards, you know, the internet and seems like every business out there needs a website or maybe two websites. And so this one is becoming more and more important as time goes on. And I don't see it slowing down 
down at all. Number three on the list is going to be transportation storage and distribution managers. Okay, so that was a mouthful and you're probably wondering what the heck they do. Basically, they deal with the logistics of the company. So transportation, storage, management, all that sort of thing. And in a world where everybody expects their package to get to them in one to two days, just like Amazon, this is a very lucrative skill to have. All this required is a high school diploma or equivalent, and you can make over $94,000 a year median. Now on top of that, it is expected to grow about 6% in the next 10 years, which is solid. Now the downside to this one is it does require a lot of experience in whatever industry you're in. So you'll probably have to start off at a lower job and then work your way into a job like this, just because you have to kind of get the basics down, even though you technically don't need a certification or any type of education, it does require quite a bit of experience. But I did have a cousin who got into a job like this with no experience and he started Started getting paid extremely well right off the bat. Number two on the list is going to be nuclear power reactor operators. Got a whole parade of nukes. And I promise this is the last nuclear power related profession that I'm going to talk about today. How many nukes we have left in the bag? And it's not that I'm obsessed with nuclear power or anything like that. It's just that there's a lot of opportunity in this field. And these are the guys who operate and control nuclear reactors and they make sure that another Chernobyl doesn't happen. And of course they do more than that. They do a lot of monitoring and testing and all that sort of thing. But overall, that's their main job. Again, you only need a high school degree and it's expected to grow by a whopping 6% in the next 10 years. And that's with over 6,000 jobs currently available. And that's really good out of all the jobs in this field. But what you've been waiting for is they're making over $94,000 a year. That is totally insane for something that doesn't require a degree. You can start right out of high school which is totally awesome. Number one on the list is going to be software developers. Now this one's gonna be a little bit controversial, but let me explain. Technically, most software developers do have to get a computer science degree or something related to that in order to get a job in that industry. However, there are some jobs out there that don't require you to get a degree or even anything related to that. And there's actually an entire community that's popped up on Reddit and YouTube of people that teach others that have totally unrelated degrees or no degrees at all how to break into the software development industry. Some of these people are even working for companies like Google and Facebook. And there's a bunch of products that have popped up like boot camps, uh, different coding algorithms where you can do problems and stuff, uh, different courses and all sorts of things like that. And this one is honestly going to be really tough to learn how to do without a degree but it is possible for you to learn and many people have done it. And you probably won't be able to break into any of the higher end jobs, especially not at first, but there are many stories of people breaking into the industry when they either don't have a degree at all or they have a completely unrelated degree. Once you're really good at your job and you establish a reputation for yourself, nobody's gonna care that you don't have a degree. Now this one pays on average over $105,000 a year, which is, you know, insanely good. There's over 1.3 million jobs available in the US right now, and it has an insane growth of 21% over the next 10 years. So there's already a ton of jobs available, and it's gonna have a ton more available in the next 10 years. So as promised, the three resources that I really like to use to find these niche jobs are gonna be one, glassdoor.com. You're probably familiar with this site. There's a ton of sites out there that are very similar to glassdoor.com, but basically it just goes over different jobs you can get, different companies that you can get those jobs with, and it talks about the job satisfaction as well as a bunch of other really important metrics like salary, etc. It makes everything very nice to look at as well. The graphs that they have on those sites are very nice. Now the second one that I use a lot is going to be bls.gov, and this one is a lot more data intensive. It's kind of like Glassdoor but it's not as fancy and nice and it has a lot more data and a lot more information available. Now BLS stands for the Bureau of Labor Statistics. It's a government website and most of the time when you see the stats on my videos I get them from BLS. Now the third resource that I really like to use just to do initial research is forums. So for instance medical careers if you talk about you know studentdoctornetwork.com if you're into a medical career you probably recognize that one. That's a forum where a bunch of different medical 
medical related professions can get together and talk about all kinds of things from how hard the schooling is to you know how much different schools cost etc and I use forums like that to get ideas for looking up jobs on other websites. Even reddit.com has given me a lot of really good ideas with this sort of thing. But overall, check out my videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and then comment down below any ideas you have on this video or any comments, criticisms, etc. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.